Welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to be building a ridiculous sign for our Maker Faire live stream. For the past few years, I've been making these signs for our live streaming camera for Maker Faire. It's a fun attention getter. It helps people know that it's the official broadcast. I've used two different techniques to make them in the past. This one's two color HDPE, and the one I made last year is stenciled and painted white ash. But this year, I wanted to go a little nuts. I wanted to take as many techniques and technologies as I could think of and put them all into one sign. It's going to be edge lit acrylic in a 3D printed frame. It's also going to be an Internet of Things device, so it'll react whenever somebody hashtags Maker Faire on Twitter, or when you tweet at Make or at Digikey, our live stream sponsors. After breaking down the cast acrylic on my table saw, I used my X-Carve to do the sign engraving. I'm using a 90 degree V-bit and a V-carving toolpath, so I don't have to worry about losing any details. I have the design reversed so I can carve it into the back of the acrylic and it will show through the smooth side. There's two sides to the sign and I'm sandwiching a piece of black craft paper in between them. That way the two sides are clearly visible even in full daylight. Now if you're not familiar with edge lit acrylic, it's a really cool way to make lighted signs. The basic idea is this. When you shine a bright light down the edge of acrylic, any details you've engraved into the sign will light up almost magically. People usually use laser engravers or CNC's, but it doesn't matter how your mark is made, it will still light up. I'm using my favorite microcontroller to run the software for the LEDs, the Feather Huzzah. On the back end, I'm using If This Then That to perform the Twitter search. And when it finds the right tweets, it posts data to Adafruit I.O. When Adafruit I.O. gets some new data in, it sends a message to the Feather Huzzah, which is tied into Maker Faire's Wi-Fi network. When there's no new tweets, the NeoPixel just slowly roll through a rainbow cycle. But when it finds a new tweet, it randomly assigns a new color to all the pixels for about 5 seconds. To design the enclosure, I started with a cavity for the acrylic sign, then hollowed out a cavity for the electronics. I added some pins to help keep the microcontroller in place, and I added a port for the USB connector. I might need to modify the code, and I'll definitely need to use it to charge the battery. Next up, I added a hexagonal hole in the bottom for a quarter twenty captive nut to attach the sign to the camera, making sure that it's the right size for a tight friction fit. Finally, I added the bosses and holes for some M3 threaded inserts. The last detail I add is a shell for the NeoPixel strip. The lid part is a reflection of the same design, with a cavity hollowed out in the base for some extra clearance for the electronics. For the three pins of the NeoPixel, I'm making a short braid of 28 gauge wire to keep it easy to manage. After checking the length, I solder the other ends directly to the board, trimming off any extra bits flush with the bottom. I'm really worried that the print layers will split when I press the 20 nut in, so I'm using a heat gun to soften the plastic before I do. I press the nut in, and then use a screw to pull it all the way into the hole. Then I use my soldering iron to press these M3 inserts into the body of the print. I'm using some hot glue to secure the NeoPixel strip, and then fit the feather and battery into place, also securing them with a bit of hot glue. Finally, I screw the lid on with some M3 screws. And that's it! If you're coming out to Maker Faire Bay Area, be sure to keep an eye out for this sign. I think with this design, I'm now committed to making a new sign for every fair. This one used a lot of techniques in my comfort zone, but I was thrilled to use both edge lid acrylic as well as if this then that for a project. But what do you think the next one should look like? Put your best ideas in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to hit subscribe for more great content from Make.